It can be difficult to remember the pediatric reflexes. This is admittedly more important for exams and less commonly for the clinical practice, although you will see it every now and then. So to remember all the primitive reflexes of the newborn, remember that an absent reflexes should get the pediatrics professor mad. So just imagine that there's a pediatric professor and he's mad because this patient does not have reflexes. A for asymmetrical tonic neck. The newborn will have his neck flexed to one side. Rooting reflex, which is the newborn looking for the nipple to start the feeding process. So if you have something circular or pointy next to the newborn's mouth, they will flex their neck and try to put whatever this is into their mouth. And this is known as the rooting reflex. The suckling or suck reflex, which is basically starting the sucking process of anything that is inside their mouth. The grasping reflex, and this is seen in the hands and feet. The newborn will basically try to catch or hold whatever they can put their hands on. And that's what you see when you put your finger into the newborn's hand and they catch your finger. The placing reflex, and that's what happens if you hold the newborn. Whenever you lift them up, they will extend their lower limbs trying to stand. The parachute reflex, which is honestly my favorite. If you hold a newborn upright and you suddenly flip them into their stomach, they will extend their hands as if they're trying to prevent their fall. This minimizes the fall damage if a newborn is dropped in their stomach. And finally, the moral reflex. If a newborn feels like they're falling, they will extend their upper limbs. It's basically the newborn trying to hold whatever is next to them to prevent their fall. Use the link below to get access to the full mnemonics course. In this course, we will discuss all the important high yield topics that we see everywhere in the clinical practice. These topics are especially important for healthcare providers. We cover topics like the treatment of acute heart failure, tension pneumothorax, and other